Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zero at your service. I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of Yaru no Yataman, which is episode two. Now this episode came out pretty nice again. Now I gotta say, like um, it's pretty like um awesome to see like a series like um maybe growing itself a bit the way I'm seeing it, you know. Um, for this episode, let's just get started. Okay, at the beginning we have two at that one of our our trio the yeah. The trio that is rebelling against the Yataman decides to go up, go on head with um, with the uh, Yataman itself to because of what they did to um, Doronjo to Doronjo and Doronjo's mother and so forth. Not willing to give any like uh, medicine or anything. So we see to it that um, they couldn't find, they can't find a way how to get in. But thanks to Oda San, thanks to the pig, which is Oda Sama's um idea to a book they find a tunnel dig it up and then we have our our friend Boya Boyaki like um building a car you know and then that's when they manage to use it and get on track on a rail train rail and then they end up meeting the Yatame once more and the car and the car that transformed into the freaking like um hand flinking thing you know but the problem is is that these guys are robots to my surprise which is surprising and multiple then, then a bird comes out a mechanical bird comes out of nowhere and multiple of them come out and they keep on trying to flink flink flinking but it doesn't work because multiple because all because there's so many of them and I'm thinking in my mind why don't you just destroy the bird but <laughs> but the bad thing is the Yasumen combine themselves into a missile and destroys the machine and the three are on the run pretty much they try to ask for help to hide but it doesn't work out and they end up running to a certain like a bridge of a wa dam or a waterfall you could call it but they have to jump the jump the gun so like jump over the bridge and they manage to survive and they end up going to a certain house they decide to take refuge in which it which it which Duranjo was really up was really was against but for some reason I did see a seagull or a girl that's like in bright light or something decides to take a look and do something do something it's like something about this girl that comes in after the two of the sides to sleep in the house you know and so far we see to it that um that things are just getting a little like um tough and ugly you know and after all that after all the um situations we see a girl that seems to be talking saying I didn't I didn't get to see any angel or something you know and she ends up seeing a little girl and she hears her voice say oh you're pretty cute you know and so forth at first I thought she was blind but I'm not really sure exactly maybe it'll show in the next episode but it ends right there she's saying you're my angel that kind of thing and I think in my mind what and so forth so this episode came out nice you know and Boyaki did build something that's really impressive and so forth and the other guy is the muscle, so pretty much like um, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty neat, you know. And I'm actually looking forward to the next to to the series very much. I mean, many people might underestimate the series, but I think it's pretty much going well for me the way how it start started off. So pretty much not bad, you know. I'm actually looking forward to more, and hopefully, like um, it'll continue on with its um with its story and progression with our characters and may maybe new ones. So if anything else, I'm gonna end my view right here, people. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you on my next video, right? Later. Peace out. Bye bye.